Mr. Speaker, uh, for, for years, Manitoba Liberals have called upon the NDP to address the problem of algae choking Lake Winnipeg by reducing the phosphorus going into it by some 50 per cent. In June of 2011, the government announced with great fanfare Bill 46, the Save Lake Winnipeg Act, and said that they had reset the NDP's existing target, which was then 10 per cent uh, of phosphorus reduction, up to a 50 per cent reduction in phosphorus. I ask the Premier what exact percentage of phosphorus reduction to Lake Winnipeg has been achieved since 2011. Well, I thank the, um, the newfound interest, Mr. Speaker, of the member in, uh, in uh, Lake Winnipeg, Mr. Speaker. Yeah, uh, it's, actually, it's... Uh, Mr. Speaker, I actually, actually, Mr. Speaker, I was going to begin my remarks by uh, welcoming everybody back. It's nice to be here. It's great to get a question, uh, some interest in the environment from members opposite, Mr. Speaker. Yeah. So I thank the member for uh, Steinbach for prompting me uh, on uh, on reminding him about uh, their uh, their profound uh, care for the environment. But I just uh, also want to remind the. Uh, I also just want to remind the member who... Uh, Order, please. The minister's time has expired. Mr. Speaker, uh, the minister is mistaken about what he called my newfound interest. I've been asking questions on Lake Winnipeg for more than a decade. It's this government which has neglected Lake Winnipeg time and time again. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, uh, the Winnipeg Free Press published an editorial today on the need for the NDP government to monitor the nutrients that make it their way into Lake Winnipeg. I quote, Mr. Selinger should commit to improved order. monitoring of order. nutrients. Order. Order, please. I'm sure the Honourable Member for River Heights knows that we're supposed to reference, and I issue this as a caution to all members of the House. We're supposed to reference other members of the House by their constituency name or ministers uh, by their portfolio. So I'm cautioning the Honourable Member for River Heights, please uh, use uh, those two as your guide. The Honourable I'm Member sorry, for River I Heights. I was quoting from what was said. It's the Premier should commit to improved monitoring of nutrients, starting with a deadline by which that will happen on LaSalle, Seine and Pembina Rivers. I ask the Premier, what are the deadlines for improved monitoring of the nutrients on the LaSalle, Seine, and the Pembina Rivers. So um, I was getting to the point about the uh, members' uh, newfound interest, uh, Mr. Speaker, in uh, freshwater uh, health in, uh, in this province, Mr. Speaker. And I know yesterday he got up in a matter of privilege and said that his record was not relevant to uh, anything in this House or anything to happen in Canada. But, you know, there might be over 300 members in that House of Common Commons, but we know his record. He can't run from it. And maybe we, he should just be reminded, he should be reminded, Mr. Speaker, that when he was the Science and Technology Minister in Ottawa, he cut uh, science grants by 64 percent. I think there was like 1,400 positions eliminated in Environment Canada and Natural Resources. He cut fresh water research by 55 percent. That's his record. You can't talk out of both sides of your mouth, sir. Listening to the comments uh, provided by the Minister of Conservation and Water Stewart, I'm requesting that uh, when uh, responses to questions are being uh, put on the record here that the comments please go through the chair. We do not want to personalize the debate that goes on in here, and so I'm asking the cooperation of all honourable members. Comments, questions to the chair, please. Mr. Speaker, the That's most ridiculous <laughs> and inaccurate lies have been stated by this government in that last answer. Uh, the minister should be ashamed of himself. Should be. We are concerned about the state of Lake Winnipeg right now. The minister twice has avoided answering questions that Manitobans are very concerned about the future of our lake, Lake Winnipeg, which is now the most threatened lake on the planet. Uh, I ask the minister, by what date 
Will his government achieve the 50 percent reduction in phosphorus going into Lake Winnipeg? Well, Mr. Speaker, the issues around Lake Winnipeg are very, very serious. And, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, we expect as well, though, that uh, uh, they, uh, the uh, issues will be raised by a serious questioner. But, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, in this budget, there are uh, very significant new investments uh, in making sure that our waters uh, are, uh, are better protected. And indeed, uh, just within our park strategy that we recently announced, uh, there's some $20 million for uh, improvements, Mr. Speaker, to the Lake Winnipeg Basin just in our parks alone. And I can get on to the, uh, the issues around uh, um, the um, obligations and the investments that we will be making uh, with the City of Winnipeg in ensuring uh, better health uh, for Lake, uh, Lake Winnipeg as well. But in, in conclusion, Mr. Speaker, uh, I want to just re remind members of this House that we are very committed as a government here in Manitoba to uh, work with the Ontario government to make sure, Mr. Speaker, that unlike uh, our, uh, our friends uh, in, in Ottawa, we have the Order, Experimental please. Lakes area. Order,